Hello, hello, Edris Oliver here, and in this DNA 9 video review, I will be talking about the security settings on DNA 9, which is located under settings, security settings. Now, differently from what I have done with uh, on previous videos, which I opened DNA 8 and I opened DNA 9 and I go and show the differences, here security settings because it's so much different. Things have been uh, reorganized in a complete different way that it will be hard to make comparison like that. But here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go through the different options and map that out at least verbally on where they used to be on DNA 8. So when we go to security settings here, as usual, you can see the slick and fast interface of security settings as well. And here, you're going to see settings that were previously located under admin site settings, under hosts, host settings, under security analyzer as well. So you're going to see a bunch of, of settings that were all grouped together under the security settings umbrella on DNA 9. So let's, let's start to have a look here. So the first tab that we have active is login settings, which we have two different tabs here. We have uh, basic login settings and login IP filters. Under basic login settings, you can specify the default authentication provider, which by default is the DNN1. You're going to say which, who is the primary administrator of the website. You're going to be able to select uh, where you want to redirect after login, after logout, and then whole bunch of toggles here. Require valid profile to log in, use capture to, uh, to associate in logins, to retrieve password, to change password, hide login control, a bunch of options here. If you change anything, any one of those options, you can save or you can cancel. As I said before, this is always spread across DNN8 on various different places. Uh, most of this used to be under admin user settings, then we can have a look at login, login IP filters. This is a way that you can filter and it was present on DNN8. This is just a way that you can filter access to the website. You can say, hey, this IP or this IP range is not allowed to, you know, to load the website. So you could specify that here. Now, this is disabled because you have to go someplace else to activate it. You actually have to go to member accounts and then under a member management, you have enable IP address check and you have to enable this to make sure that you can specify login IP address here, filters. So those are the two main options, tabs, you can call them under login settings. And then the next one, the next area, we have member accounts and then you have member management, which it starts by uh, by giving an option in minutes to see how long will uh, a reset link last. If the administrator sends that out, how long it will last as well. So different settings here. If you whether or not you want to keep password history to avoid a change to the same password as the last five in this case, or you can change this as well. You can have a, a password band list. You can enable password strength checking enable IP checking, which is what I just mentioned before, password expiring days. If it's zero, it means that it does not expire. And if this, if it does re expire, then it can, you can specify how many days in advance you want people to be reminded that the expiry has been reached. I don't think that those options were done in it. I might be wrong here, but that's member management. And then we have a registration settings as well. They used to be under admin site settings. You can say what type of registration, non private, public, verified the registration form. If it's standard with the standard questions or a custom format, those options existed as well on DNN eight, the format of the display name. I'm just going to select the standard here. And then name validation, you can specify some validation rules, email address validation. Again, I'm not going to go through each one of those options. I'm just going to browse through quickly on them, use profanity filter, all the usual options that we used to have under the admin site settings. 
So what else we have here? Capture, password format. A lot of, of settings here are read only, which means that you can only change them directly on the web.config file. So they're not editable. One thing that I'm missing here in, in either it will be placed later on in the future or it will be placed somewhere else, but I don't see here yet where can I add more registration questions. Secret Analyzer, this used to be a standalone module, which was incorporated later in the init itself, and it used to have its own page. Now it's incorporated here on the NNI under security settings. You have audit checks, which does a, a checklist on the website and on the health of the website. Then you have a scanner check, which allows you to, to search inside files on the website and through the database as well. So that's a very, very good search. You can see the recent modified files. If you click, you can see the recently modified settings as well. All, was, all, all of those were present on the A2. And you can also see the super user activity. So a good way to see if the super user activity uh, matches your own activity if you are a super user. The next one, security bulletins. This is just a way that you see reports of which fixes have been done from a security perspective on DNN9. Now, under more, you're gonna see some options here that used to be under host, host settings on DNN8 and DNN7. You can see the SSL settings. If you enable, if you enforce, what is the SSL URL in case you are potentially using a shared SSL certificate. I have not seen this option before called SSL offload header value. Not sure what this is, so we can check the information here, but I have not seen this before. And then you have more security settings, which is where everything else that does not qualify on the previous views. So this used to be under host, host settings, uh, shows a critical error screen, put it in debug mode, enable remember me control, Auto, auto unlock accounts after X you know, minutes, time before times out, maximum upload size, allowed extensions, file extensions, which types of files you are going to allow people to upload to the website. This again, used to be under host, host settings. So a bunch of options here under the security settings. I tend to think that this is one place that DNN Corp has done most of the changes, you know, the reorganization of security settings and bring them all together because before you never knew if it was under admin, if it was under host. So it, you were always, I was always scrambling to, to find uh, security settings around. But this time around, the NA9, it's all under the security settings umbrella. That's about it. I hope that this gives a little overview of the security settings and how this mapped out as compared to DNN8. That's it for now. Thanks and bye.